The Michigan House has already passed, and the Michigan Senate is about to pass a bill that sounds like it is, it is, it is out of a dystopian leftist novel from the future. If you think that Republican governors around the country are using fiscal crisis as a pretext to do stuff they otherwise want to do, this is something I don't think I ever would have believed Republicans even wanted to do. But this is what they're proposing. This hasn't really gotten much national attention, but please just check this out. Governor Rick Snyder's budget in Michigan is expected to cut aid to cities and towns so much that a lot of cities and towns in Michigan are expected to be in dire financial straits. Right now, Governor Snyder is pushing a bill that would give himself, Governor Snyder and his administration, the power to declare any town or school district to be in a financial emergency. If a town was declared by the governor and his administration to be in a financial emergency, they would get to put somebody in charge of that town. And they want to give that emergency manager they've just put in charge of the town the power to, quote, reject, modify, or terminate any contracts the town may have entered into, including any collective bargaining agreement. So this emergency person who gets put in charge of a town deemed to be in financial crisis by the governor's administration, this emergency person gets to strip the town of union rights unilaterally by their own personal authority. But this emergency person also gets the power under this bill to suspend or dismiss elected officials. Think about that for a second. Doesn't matter who you voted for in Michigan doesn't matter who you elected, your elected local government can be dismissed at will. The emergency person sent in by the Rick Snyder administration could recommend that a school district be absorbed into another school district. That emergency person is also granted power specifically to disincorporate or dissolve entire city governments. What year was your town founded? Does it say so, like on the town border as you drive into your town? Does it say what year your town was founded? What did your town's founding fathers and founding mothers have to go through in order to incorporate your town? Republicans in Michigan want to be able to unilaterally abolish your town and disincorporate it, regardless of what you as a resident of that town think about it. You don't even have the right to express an opinion about it through your locally elected officials who represent you, because the Republicans in Michigan say they reserve the right to dismiss your measly elected officials and to do what they want instead because they know best. The version of this bill that passed the Republican-controlled Michigan House said it was fine for this emergency power to declare a fiscal emergency, uh, invoking all of these extreme powers. It, it was fine for that power to be held by a corporation. So swaths of Michigan could, at the governor's disposal, be handed over to the discretion of a company. You still want your town to exist? Take it up with the board of directors of this corporation that will be overseeing your future now. Or rather, don't take it up with them. Frankly, they're not interested. Instead of thinking of Michigan as the upper and lower peninsula, let's just consider the prospect of Amway Stan, right? The area between Pontiac and Flint could be a nice Dow Chemicalville, maybe. The power to overrule and suspend elected government justified by a financial emergency. Oh, and how do you know when you're in a financial emergency? Because the governor tells you you're in a financial emergency. Or a company he hires to do so does that instead. The Senate version of the bill in Michigan says it has to be humans declaring your fiscal emergency. The House bill says a firm can do that just as well. This is about a lot of things. This is not about a budget. This is using or fabricating crisis to push for an agenda you'd never be able to sell under normal circumstances. And so you have to convince everyone that these are not normal circumstances. These are desperate circumstances and your desperate measures are therefore somehow required. Uh, what this is has a name. Uh, it is called shock doctrine.